Okay, kindergarten, it is going to be principal's day on Friday, May 1st. So we are going to draw our principal, Mrs. Campos. And because she is so awesome and wonderful, we are going to turn her into Wonder Woman. So we're going to start our directed drawing today. And you're going to need to pause and take your time with it because there's a lot of details in this drawing, okay? Um, we have our paper portrait mode. We might not get her whole body in here, but we're going to try and get as much as we can. We're going to start our picture here at the top, and we're going to start with the outline of her face. It's going to look like the letter U, and I'm going to go maybe, maybe three fingers down from the top. I'm going to come down for the side of her face, her chin, and back up. And at this point, you're going to close up that U because we're going to give her her Wonder Woman crown here. So now we're going to come and draw two lines down so that it sticks up. And then we're going to bring this to a point like a triangle. So I'm going to go up and down. And that's going to be her crown. Then we're going to do her neck. And we're going to stop here because we're going to fill in the details of her hair and her face. So we have hair that's going to come out over the top of the crown. So I'm going to come around and I'm going to give her some nice, a nice hairdo. And Mrs. Campos's hair is about, about that length. So I came all the way around. I gave a little curl, another little curl. And then it's hugging right on that line where the neck is. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to give her a little wave. And I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to come all the way across because I'm going to bring her shoulder out and her shoulder is going to stick out just a little bit on this side. And don't forget you have an eraser. If you make a mistake, that's totally okay. Just erase it and fix it. And I'm trying not to press too hard on my pencil. That way if I make a mistake, it, it's not hard to erase. Now we're going to come up and do the details on the face. So in the middle of Wonder Woman's crown, there's a star. And I am going to try my best to do a star. They're kind of tricky. I know that I can do a triangle top. And then the rest of it is triangle sides and triangle bottoms. And there's five, five points on that. So there's my star. And then I'm going to come into her face. I'm going to start with the nose, and usually I start in the middle, and I come down, and then kind of a half triangle nose there. And then we're going to go into the eyes. And remember, we call them football eyes because you're going to give them a top and a bottom like a football. We're going to do the same thing over here, and I'm making them pretty big so that we can see, like a football. And then we're going to fill in the middles with the circle colored part of the eye, and a pupil in the middle, but we're going to come back and change that. We always say that it looks kind of, kind of creepy, but we come back in and color it. And then we're going to give her some eyebrows. So I'm going to make a double line here, and a double line here, give her some eyebrows. And then when we come in with our crayons, we're going to give her um, some eyelashes. But we got to be really careful because sometimes when we do eyelashes, they end up looking like spiders. And then we're going to give Mrs. Campos a beautiful smile. If you want to give her um, lips, you can do that. Okay, so we have the top part of the drawing done. And we're going to work on the middle. So this part of your body is called your torso. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave the shoulders open. We're going to maybe have a finger space on each side. And then we're going to come down and down. And we're going to make her body. Okay. Then I'm going to have the arms. She's going to be holding some things. Okay. So because Mrs. Campos has been doing such a great job in helping us with our learning at home, we're going to have her holding a few items, some books, and also a computer because we've been doing our learning online. So it's like a V. 
and then a V underneath for her arm. Okay. Now I'm going to stop right here. Okay, so we have the outline of the body. I'm just going to take the top part of the V and I'm going to make a hand, but I'm just going to do this. Okay, and same thing over here. I ran out of room here. That's okay. I'm just going to do as much as I can. Okay. And then on these wrists, Wonder Woman has these really cool um, bracelets. They're gold. So we're going to put those bracelets in. And then we're going to come back up to the body here. We're going to give Mrs. Campos her Wonder Woman outfit. So there's her, her tank top with her button. And then the Wonder Woman outfit comes down and out. And then this is the trickiest part for me. So Wonder Woman has the W's in the middle here. And so we're going to do one W on top of another w, w on top of another W. So just so that you can see, it goes like this, one W. And then the W sides come out. Okay. And then underneath that W, we're going to do another one. And then that line comes out and it catches this line. We connect the tops. Okay, and then we have one more W. So we're going to sit that one at the bottom. And then this one comes out just like this. And we're going to stop with that one right there. And then we're going to add Mrs. Campos's belt. So we're going to draw a line across that. And then we're going to come down just a little. And then her belt comes in like a V and out. And we're going to give her her Wonder Woman skirt. Looks like this. And we're going to leave this alone for right now. We're going to come back and do some details. I'm going to draw her legs that are coming down. I don't have space for her boots. So that's as far as I can get on this. Okay. So now I'm going to go back in and do the details on her, on her body. So we've got her hands out. On this side, we're going to put a computer, and on this side, we're going to put a stack of books. So the computer is going to look like a line across, and it's going to come out like this. And it might cover up some of the hand. See how mine went a little bit over? I'm just going to erase what's in the middle. And then there's the top of it. And I'm going to put the keyboard is just another rectangle inside. I know these are a lot of details, but you guys are really good. So I'm just going to do some lines for the keyboard. And then we're going to put the screen in here. And I think inside my screen, you can put um, a message, but I'm going to put a heart. I think that'd be cute. And then on this side, in her hands, we're going to do a stack of books. Mine are kind of coming apart here. I don't have all of them. So they're just small little rectangles that we're placing one on top of another. And then this is going to be a little tricky. This is her skirt. Wonder Woman has stars on her skirt. If you can't make the stars yet, if you're not sure about it, um, you can go ahead and make circles and that's okay. But I want you to try. Okay, always try and never give up. Mrs. Salgado kind of knows how to do it, so. I'm going to start making my stars. And remember, this can take you as long as you want to do it today. Okay, just remember that when you're done, 
uh, your teacher wants to see it. So make sure you take your picture with the drawing because we're going to show Mrs. Campos all of our drawings and how wonderful we think she is. Because she is pretty awesome, I have to say. So I'm going to fill in the skirt with these stars. And then I'm going to write her name up here at the top. I'm going to put um, Mrs. and then Gumbos. Okay, so uppercase M, lowercase R, and S, Mrs. And then Gumbos is going to be on this side. C-A-M-P-O-S. Uppercase C on this one, uppercase M on this one. Now there's um, the drawing, but then we get into the coloring. So I'm gonna leave you to coloring yours. Um, remember Wonder Woman's costume is red, white, and blue. Um, I'm gonna do that, color it, and take a picture of it so that you can see what the end looks like. But this is going to be a great picture for you to send to Mrs. Campos. So if you send it to your teacher, your teacher can upload it and send it to her. She is going to absolutely love it and we're going to love it too. So have fun drawing Mrs. Campos, our wonderful principal.